kind of weird, isn't it? It's really awkward. We're here at church, but nobody else is here. You got Andrew Doyle there in the background. You got some friends, you got some people helping put church together, but it's not the same thing as being together. It's, it's different than the body of Christ gathered. I mean, even the parking lot out here. You see what I mean? And it makes me sad. I've been a church pastor for 15 years. This has been my world. Helping people come together and celebrate the joy of our faith together. Helping people find Jesus and hope and new life. Helping people realize that the problems of this world are so small. They feel really huge, but they can't stop what God wants to do in us and through us, transforming us and renewing us and healing us. But here right now, it feels really weird and I'm sad about it. In fact, I'm angry about it. I grieve it. Not because church is a building. Church is you and I. Church is the people, the people of Christ. We are the church. But in this time of pandemic, I don't get to see you. I don't get to touch you, to shake your hand, to encourage you, to anoint you, to hand you a little bit of communion. We're an embodied faith. God came down as a human. We're an embodied faith and it is okay to be upset about things right now. Maybe for you, it's not uh, that we can't do these churchy things. That's okay. I mean, I'm a bit of a church nerd. So that one might be unique to me, but for you, maybe it's how you do your job or how you interact with your friends because you're not seeing each other at school, how you're not allowed to hug your grandparent, how you don't get to go meet certain people at, at that favorite place, that coffee shop or that restaurant or wherever. It's okay to be upset right now. So for this little devotion, it's not really a devotion so much as a confession and a lament. And to let you know it's okay to feel these things, but also to encourage you that when you get to feeling these things during this time of quarantine and isolation, it's okay to also give yourself a break. To take five or 10 minutes to go walk around, to get a snack, to turn off the social media or the screen for a second and do something that can sort of fill your soul. That's okay, I encourage you to try that. And in the meantime, where you're feeling isolated or alone, remember you're not. God's always with us, but in spirit, so am I and everyone else who believes. The power of the church is not in the building, but in the fact that God is with us. And so even if we're scattered all over watching church on Facebook, we are the church and we are united in our faith and our love for Christ, our willingness to serve and sacrifice the way that he set an example for us to do, and the fact that in all circumstances we can praise him. So I encourage you, don't let the weight of all this get you down. We can cope together, but what unites us is stronger than what divides us, even quarantine orders. You're loved. We're going to make it through this. And I will see you soon. Don't get frustrated. Don't go it alone. We'll be together soon. This will be over soon. And when it is, We'll rejoice, but in the meantime, we can still rejoice. Hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. You're loved.